What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're continuing our tear on the casual ladder, showcasing Regulation D Pokemon, but today we have a Hisuian Electrode Trick Room team. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Hisuian Electrode, such a cool Pokemon with such a cool typing, electric and grass. I kind of forgot about them. And then I saw this team today. I was like, I got to use it. I got to use this Pokemon because I actually use them in my Legends Arceus playthrough. And I, I absolutely love it. Just love me some grass types. And this is a cool new one. Uh, Yeah, Trick Room team today. Really, really strong. You got Enamorous on it, and then you got Indeedee, Armouche, Annihilate. You guys already know, deal with those three. They're very, very strong, especially within a Trick Room team. So hopefully we get to rock out with this team, grab some wins for you guys. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be the Armouche. Armouche has been amazing since it got released into this game. It's got Flash Fire. It has the Life Orb as item, Rock and Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, Trick Room, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Indeedee. Cannot have an Armouche team without Indeedee on it. It's got Psychic Surge, Psychic Seeds, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Trick Room, and the Helping Hand. Third slot is Annihilate. Annihilate is so, so strong, especially with this moveset right here. It's got Twist Scarf, and it is Defiant with Close Combat, Rage Fist, Drain Punch, and Final Gambit. So you can pretty much just outspeed all Pokemon, KO somebody with Final Gambit, set up Trick Room with either Indeedee or Armors, and just get after it from, from there. Enamorous, a brand new Pokemon for Regulation D, is going to be our fourth Pokemon. It has Overcoat and the Soul Fest as item with Springtide Storm, Mystical Fire, Moon Blast, and Earth Power for a great move set for it. Iron Hands is in our fifth slot. Iron Hands is a great Trick Room Pokemon because it's so strong and it's so bulky and it's so slow. So Trick Room is definitely its friend. It's got Cork Drive, the Booster Energy as its item, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Ice Punch, and Detect. Final Pokemon on today's team is the star of the show, Hisuian Electro, the grass and electric type with Aftermath, Loaded Dice as its item, Thunderbolt, Bullet Seed, Taunt, and Screech to lower the opponent's defensive stat. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Look to grab some wins with this is Suing Electro team. We're loading into our first match, and something that I forgot to mention about his Suian Electrode is this Pokemon is ridiculously fast. Let me show you guys its speed real quick. It is out of this world. Like you would not expect this thing to be this fast with 222 speed. This thing absolutely cooks. This thing is crazy fast. It's special attack, kind of low. It can do a decent amount of damage, but its HP is pretty bulky. But again, this thing is crazy fast. So it's a solid Pokemon for back end of Trick Room. But we're going up against a Zapdos team with Tornadus, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Hisuian Typhlosion, and Chiyu. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I'm kind of thinking of just going Indeedy and maybe going with Gambit. I feel like that could be really, really good. Or I can lead. I could lead the Electrode. Just to try to get off some damage. I mean, we have Thunderbolt. It's, again, it's very, very fast, so we could deal some big-time damage. So I might be about it. I might be about it. Actually, we'll bring it in the back end. We'll go Annihilate, and then we'll go Indeedee with Arm Rouge. And then last but not least, we'll bring him We'll bring him in the back end. We shall bring him in the back end. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I definitely want to use it. I just want to use it, right? I just want to use this Pokemon because, again, it is crazy fast. That's just such a cool Pokemon. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I get to verse it on the rank ladder soon you know i also want a cinerace team cinerace is awesome i gotta showcase cinerace for you guys really really cool pokemon let's see who they end up leading we got typhlosion and chi so definitely a scary little combo here um annihilate might be able to outspeed which would be gorgeous i don't know if it can because again could be going in with the uh the choice scarf i'm sure but my annihilate can outspeed which we can't even hit him with gambit which kind of sucks we could hit it with a, uh, could hit it with a, uh, what's it called? A ghost move, like Rage Fist. I could Rage Fist out, but I could say he's going to Thrasilize as well. We're just going to go after Chiyu. I don't really to get rid of Chiyu here. We might Thrasilize that type of and he does not. So we get rid of Chiyu here right off the rip. That's actually big time. Because now, indeed, he should be able to eat up whatever Typhlosion has to offer. Even if it is an eruption. Because now that she is off the field, they lose that special defense drop on her Pokemon. But there's the eruption. Again, you should be able to eat this up now, indeed. Perfect. So, great play for us. Now, from here, I get to bring out armor. Which, like, obviously, this combo is really, really strong. I could bring out, what's it called, to be honest with you guys. I 
could bring out you. So how fast were you? If I had to guess, I think it's Choice Scarf, right? I believe Typhlosion could be Choice Scarf. I could actually bring out you. This could be a good time to bring out you. And you know what? Do I do that? Or do I just win this game of Armors? Because I can win it right here, right now. Actually, no. We're going to bring out Armors right here. We are going to bring out Armors. And we're going to win match number one. This is, this is pretty simple for us, right? Zapdos does come out here. And from here, I'm just going to help in hand. Toss this over there. And just pop a nice little E-Force. Expanding Force. Probably should have Terrasilize. But nah, we're fine. We shall be fine. I'm scared of the Ghost Moves, right? Ghost Moves scare me a little bit. Actually, I meant Dark Moves, but there is no Dark Moves on the field. I'm cool with this. So we go for the Helping Hand. We go for Expanded Force, Life Orb, Stab. Come on, man. That's too easy. Match number one going to us all day. We got to get Hisui and uh, Electrode out there in match number two. But yeah, this was just... This was just too easy, man. That combo is legit broken. Just It's easy to set up Trick Room that way, too. Urshu comes out here for the final Pokemon. It's game, set, match. It's just game, set, match. I can eat up an Aqua Jet, too. And you know what? I'm just going to follow me. Follow me, Expanded Force. <laughs> Put a Pride Cancels battle, right? Yeah. Battle is canceled. Let's go hop into our second one. Try to use something. Not, that's not that. Second match on its way. Let's get out that Electrode. Probably use it in turn one. I really want to use this Pokemon a lot. So, you know what? I'm going to lead it. I kind of want to bring in Enamorous, definitely want to bring him in this match. Try to showcase the Pokemon and not just use Annihilate and DD Armors. I mean, I had the chance. I really want to take the win in match number one. So I took that one. I was just like, screw it. We're just going to win this one with Armors and get the dub. So we're 1 0. But uh, they got a pretty cool team. They got Cerule Edge, they got Lucario, Bax Caliber, Gargle Knuckle, Electros, and they also have uh, that Toad's Cruel. Is that it? Or is that the first stage? I forget. Tentacruel? I think it's Tentacruel. Either way, it's the uh, it's the new form of Tentacruel. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to lead Electrode here. Uh, who else should I bring with it? I could go in with Armors. I mean, Armors can set up Trick Room pretty well. We might want Trick Room for later. But yeah, I'm going to go Armors, and then I'm just going to go... Actually, I'll go Indeedee. I will go Indeedee. I like this, especially to stop for some priority moves. So I'm going to go Indeedee. I'm going to bring... Uh, Iron Hands and Enamorous in the back end. We're not using Annihilate. We're not using Armors this battle. Let's grab a win without him. But Electrode, 222 speed. Come on, man. That's fast. That is fast. So it's going to be a good Pokemon for this team it, within, like, first turns or more of a back end Pokemon if they try to stall out the Trick Room. So right now we're going to lead it. We're going to try to get off some nice hits, some nice damage. Maybe the League Gargle now, and we can drop some Bullet Seeds into it with a load of dice. That'd be pretty cool. And that's exactly what they do. So we like that. We don't mind that. The car is out here. Um, hmm. What do I do from here? I think I just bullet see that slot and I pop a trick room. Do I pop a trick room? Maybe not. I don't have to pop a trick room. I don't have to, but it would definitely be very, very beneficial for us. So yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go into a bullet seed here. Deal as much damage as I possibly can, and I'm gonna go for a trick room. Do I terrestrialize in the fairy? Probably not, right? I don't think terrestrialize is gonna be our friend. So I'm just gonna go for a trick room. Let's do it. So I don't want Terrasilize in the Fairy and then have that Lucario be like dropping a Meteor Mash right in my mitt. That'd be no bueno. It'd be no good. It would not be a it would not be a smart play. But I do like this Hisuian uh, Electrode for Tornadises, right? 222 speed. He can deal some big time damage. Get after it. Same thing with like Urshfus and all that. But he ends up with Strong Lucario turn one. Now he's gonna go into from here. Bax Calibur. The Bax Calibur is going to come out here. And Gargi's gonna get the withdrawal as well. So just swapping his whole team. They're gonna get after that way. So Rulage comes out here. So my Bullet Seed really not doing much here. My B Seed is not doing anything. Look at that. Like three damage. Oh no, you're weak armor. Oh no, we're hitting you four more times. This thing's speed's going through the roof. Actually, that actually works fine. Considering we're popping Trick Room, his speed goes through the roof and his defense drops. I like that because my Bullet Seed's doing more and more each time. <laughs> <laughs> so Trick Room's gonna come out here. Surudge is now gonna be the slowest Pokemon on the field. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. I don't think its speed can go higher, can it? Yeah, no, you're plus six on speed. But plus six over there. So now we finally pop a Trick Room. Um, hmm. I could Terrasilize my my guy, but actually I'm I'm not gonna Terrasilize. I'm just gonna chop some nice little Thunderbolts. I'm just gonna follow me this. 
I want all the shots coming into my Ndidi. Keep my Hisuian Electrode alive. I'm gonna follow me shots here. Let's see what they end up doing. Punch coming in here. It's gonna do some nice damage, but we're gonna be able to bulk it out. Thunderbolt's gonna fly. Electrode chunking up some damage. Give me para. Thank you very much. Get some big time paras. We're paralyzing out here. Bitter Blade's gonna fly out here, and that's gonna KO us. That's fine because now I can bring out Enamorous if I want to. Enamorous could be a nice little solid Pokemon. Electrode's kind of just here doing his thing. Honestly, special attack's kind of low. I don't. It's not really hitting hard at all. But I could bring out you. You're pretty good. You're a pretty good customer. Or I could just go in with you. Springtide Storms. Oh baby. With the Terrasalization. Yeah, you're coming out here. Let's get it. Let's get Enamorous out here. Get this Pokemon cooking. Get it cooking. We like it. So now I can just, uh, I guess I'll keep throwing Thunderbolts here. And I'm thinking I'm just trying to land a Springtide Storm. I could go in with Earth Power. I could Terrasalize. And you know what? I'm going to go for that. I'm going to Terrasalize and try to land the Springtide Storm. So we doing it. Enamorous in its, I think it's called Theory in form. I think that's what it is. Getting yeah, after it. Looks really dope. I really do like it in this form. Springtide Storm has 80% accuracy. We got fingers crossed for a double land here. And we got fingers crossed for Max Caliber not Terrasalizing either. And it doesn't. And we get the double land, so the fingers crossed worked. This should take out Max Caliber. It does. Does some nice damage over onto Cerule Edge. And from here, he's probably just going to Bitter Blade my... Uh, ooh, we get an attack drop. Wow, that was a good Springtide Storm. That was top tier. That was top tier. And this thing is paralyzed. Oh, we love this thing. We love it. But now that it's paralyzed, it actually goes before the Electrode. Which is hilarious. Good old Electrode. The Gargonacle comes out here. Uh, I can start Bullet Seeding that. I am scared of that thing. Hmm, I do have what's called in the back end, though, which is pretty good. I'm sure Earth Power down through Ledge. I don't want to miss the Springtide Storm and have it alive for another turn. But I do have Iron Hands in the back end. He's going to be pretty good. Heavy Science can come out here. That is terrifying right there. And Earth Power is going to finish you off. And now we're going to drop a nice little Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed's not going to do anything crazy, but still, it's going to chuck up some nice damage. Actually, Trick Room's helping him out right here. A little damage this thing does. This Pokemon was definitely underwhelming to use. I just want to use him because he looks so cool. He's doing like nothing. His EVs are fully invested in the HP and speed. Hmm. So Gargi can kill me next turn. I could hard swap out into like Iron Hands here. It really depends who they bring out here. Lucario. I forgot about Lucario. How many turns are left in the Strick Room? One. He's gonna be heavy slamming into me. I'm just gonna stick with the bullet so you keep chunking up damage. That thing's kinda here actually just like Screech too. Screech can work pretty well. And you know what? I'm gonna go into the boost energy. Now, what stat will that boost? Will that boost my defense? That could be really good if it boosts my defense. It can boost my attack. Wow, your attack's so high. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap. Oh, they canceled battle. We take that. That would have came down to the wire, but hey, I feel as we were gonna win. That's 2 0. Electrode showcasing the match number two. Super, super surprised that our last opponent canceled the match. I thought it was gonna come down to the wire, but I guess they thought otherwise. We're hopping into our third and final match. Let's try to get after it. Hisuian Electrode. Definitely underwhelming. It's definitely underwhelming. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, right? Love this Pokemon so much, having fun. We did just get a win with it, but I highly doubt we're gonna be seeing it on the rank ladder, right? This thing is just Oh man, even with like say you put special attack IVs into it, it's not doing anything crazy. It's not doing anything crazy. But this one's kinda here, just like screech up and get off some big damage, right? That's pretty much wild here. You can actually actually let's we could try it with, with Choice Scarf Annihilate. And go in with, and go in with you. But chances are they're trying to get after me. So indeed, the armor is going to be our best bet here, hands down. So I'm going to go for the follow me. I'm going to go in with the enamorous and then have the iron hands to back in. 
We're not even gonna bring Electro, but what I was gonna say is that you can actually just lead uh, Annihilate and Electrode. Or even Iron Hands, just start screeching. Get the minus two on the fence and have the big time attackers come over the top with a big old Drain Punch, do, do some big time damage, pick up KOs, get a bunch of HP back. That's probably what this one was built for a little bit more, but other than that, like it's doing no damage with like its Bullet Seeds, its Thunderbolts. It does have Taunt though does have taunt i'll give him that i'll give him that and i love his design and i'm kind of glad we got to use it because I, I like showcasing every single pokemon so hopefully guys are still enjoying we are 2-0 oh. we did guarantee ourselves a winning record but this is the true test right here third and final match let's get it reggie draco and fourth worm <laughs> the little wormy worm so worm worm comes out here um i'm thinking of just terrestrializing Indeedy here into fairy and pop and trick him and maybe just protecting armor here, right? Probably the best bet because Reggie Draco is probably going for a big time, uh, big time move here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just protect. He's probably going for like a dragon energy with a dragon fang and a dragon mole. He's just all decked out dragon. So, I'm not trying to deal with that. I'm gonna terrestrialize into fairy here. I probably should have hard swap maybe into Enamorous. But protects fine. I mean, Armor Rouge is—he's here. He came to play. Armor Rouge came to play. Armor Rouge came to play. We go into the Fairy Terra. We straight up protect our Armor Rouge. Let's see how this one plays out here. Shadow Ball gonna come into this slot. Wow, no Dragon's Ball or Dragon Energy. It's fine. This thing's gonna Shed Tail. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Hate me some Shed Tail. <laughs> shed Tail's so annoying. But now they're gonna go into whom? Who's gonna get the sub behind him? We're gonna get off Trick Room, which is big, big time. But I wonder who they're gonna bring out here. It's gonna be Urshan. Always a problem with Shed Tail now. Just a, a problem. <clears throat> it's just a problem. So from here, who actually goes first? Who's slower out of you two? Definitely Armor's, right? Yeah, Armor's gonna go first. A little rough, but that's fine. We're gonna gleam over top of this. So I'm gonna go for gleam. I am just gonna go for expanded force. He might just protect that Reggie Draco. We'll see. He does not. So expanded force is gonna fly out here. I could have helped him handle this. And we get rid of Reggie Draco. And that should get rid of the substitute, right? Yeah. So now Indeedy's gonna go. And Indeedy has a chance to KO. Oh, that was Zoroke. You little biscuit. I think Zoroke. That's why you Shadow Ball. Now it makes sense. I always forget about the illusion. So let's see what Urshifu is going to do. Actually, we go first. Again, we have a chance to KO. This is a water one, so we're not going to be able to KO. So Surgeon Strikes probably flies here. Yep. It's going to take us out. And now I'm going to bring out Enamorous. Lovely little Enamorous. Straight up fairy type. We love it. And we can start getting after this battle because they have Reggie Draco, which I'm not worried about. And hopefully they bring it out here. That'd be awesome. The two fairy Pokemon on the field. I highly doubt he brings it out here, right? Let's see. Let's see. I think this is Reggie Draco, isn't it? No, it's Earthworm. Slurm. <laughs> just says Slurm. So from here, I can Gleam, get rid of you, and I think I'll just Mystical Fire, right? I can go into Earth Power. What does more damage? Earth Power does. Earth Power does more damage, but we get a special attack drop. But I want more damage. So I'm just going to go into this. He's going to detect... Not knowing that my Namorous is just going to rip into the Earthworm. I'm sick of this thing. Did he dodge that? Oh my god, I totally forgot it has Earth Eater. What am I doing? I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I'm simply throwing. I'm out here just throwing. God dang Earth Eater. God dang Earth Eater. Doing me so dirty. Out comes the Gleam. I'm hoping Mystical Fire can KO it. I think it might be able to. That hurts the soul. I just gave him free HP when I could have taken him out. I could have taken him out. So from here, another Gleam's gonna come out here. And we're going for the Mystical Fire this time around. How did I forget that? How did I forget that? Come on, Jeans. You're better than that. Get it together. Get it together. To Slurm? Slurmy Slurms over here ripping into me? Come on, man. Why does Enamorous have, like, web feet? Right? Kind of weird, but it's fine. Mystical Fire rips up into Slurm Slurm. Takes him out, no problem. Get on out of here. 
Get him on out of here. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly. Clean up the Urshfu. That pretty much sets us up. That's a, that's a, that's a victory, right? His final Pokemon's Reggie Draco. Chances are he has no other move besides Dragon moves, and we got two Fairy Pokemon out of the game. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. You guys made it this far, and if you're already subscribed, and if you already liked the video, definitely consider becoming a member. There's a join button down below, and there is a link down in the description below to become a member. So if you guys are interested, definitely head on over there. But I'm just gonna go into my fairy moves, and he's gonna terrasalize. Straight up T rasalizing. Into what? Into what? What you got cooking? That dragon? What typing did you just do? I can't see. Steel! Hold up! This match ain't over! This match ain't over. What move? You gotta have Terra Blast then. You gotta have. Yep, this thing's got Terra Blast. It's a shame though, because he probably thinks. Oh, oh wow, you didn't even KO me. But he probably thinks uh, that he has a shot at this match. Little does you know, I have Iron Hands in the back end. Just super effective to that little steel monster right there. So from here, I'm just gonna go into a follow me, and now I'm just Earth Power that. Now I can Earth Power. You don't have Earth Eater. Come here. You can follow me the shot. I do like how Terra Blast Steel looks. Like, it rolls up a ball of iron. Like, look at it. Ready? It just rolls up a ball of iron. <laughs> looks like It looks like you just took Tin Foil and made it into a ball. Love it, though. Earth Power is going to fly here. It's going to clean it up. See you later, Reggie Draco. 3-0 and o perfect record with this Hisuian Electrode and Enamor Strickland team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Had a ton of fun using this team, but I gotta reiterate. Electrode, or I should say Hisuian Electrode, it's just not it. We went 3-0, we played pretty good with it, but it's not it. It is not it. Unless maybe this build is wrong, but I just see it even with Special Attack IV not being that good. But it was still a lot of fun using it. Glad I got to showcase this Pokemon on the casual ladder for you guys. And even more importantly, still grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. That just goes to show how strong Trick Room is and how strong indeed the Armouge and Annihilate are. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.